welcome to another in the series of demonstrations designed to get you quickly up to speed with what's new in NXCAM. This video will demonstrate how toolpath analysis allows you to graphically analyze a variety of multi-axis path parameters to give you a better understanding of your toolpath and help you identify potential problems before the part is cut. Here we have a part with some fairly complex toolpaths that we'll use to perform toolpath analysis. Select Blade Finish. Refresh the graphics display to remove the blank geometry. Select Toolpath Analysis. The Toolpath Analysis dialog box is new. Segment length allows you to visualize moves along the toolpath by their 3D lengths. Very short segments among longer ones may indicate spikes resulting in less than optimal surface quality. Very long segments may be suboptimal for certain controllers. Number of ranges specifies how many colors the system splits the range into. The specified number can be an integer between 1 and 7. Min-max limits determines the highest and lowest numeric values in the range. Automatic extracts the minimum and maximum values from the toolpath. Select Hub Finish in the Operation Navigator. Click Apply. Notice that Automatic has determined a new range of values based on the minimum and maximum segment length in the toolpath. Specify allows you to manually key in minimum and maximum values. Select Specify from the min-max limits list. Type point 0.1 in the minimum box. Type 2 in the maximum box. Click Apply. Notice that the range values are equally divided. There is a .2714 difference between each value. This is because divisions is set to automatic. Also notice that the segment colors in the toolpath have been updated to reflect these values. The divisions options work as follows. Automatic divides range values equally between minimum and maximum. For logarithmic, ranges are small near a given reference and logarithmically increase as they diverge from the reference. For segment length, use minimum as the reference point. For lead angle, use zero if it's anywhere within the range, otherwise use the smallest value. This refines the ranges as they approach zero. For statistical, ranges are based on a statistical rule. This will do a better job of distinguishing ranges when values are close to each other. For Specify, you will manually key in intermediate range values. You must key in values that continually increase between the minimum and maximum values. You may customize the range colors. Click the blue box in Range 2. Click any contrasting color not currently used in the range. Click OK. Click Apply. Select Automatic from the min-max limits list. Click Apply. The color you customized for range 2 continues to be used. The remaining type options allow you to analyze other toolpath parameters. Select Lead Angle from the type list. When changing type, there's no need to apply. The type options analyze the toolpath as follows. The lead angle is the angle between the tool axis and the path direction. Negative values may indicate heel digging. The system colors the moves by the angle of the tool axis orientation from the plane perpendicular to the local path direction. Delta lead angle is the change in the lead angle along the path. Swiveling axis angle is the angle between the tool axis and ZM. For a 5-axis orthogonal milling machine with a C-axis, this reflects the A or B axis value. Swiveling axis speed is the speed of change of the angle between the tool axis and ZM. For a 5-axis orthogonal milling machine with a C-axis, this is the speed of the A or B axis. 
Rotary axis angle is the angle between the tool axis projected on the XY plane with respect to XM. For a 5-axis orthogonal milling machine with a C-axis, this is the C-axis value. Rotary axis speed is the speed of change of the angle between the tool axis projected on the XY plane. For a 5-axis orthogonal milling machine with a C-axis, this is the speed of the C-axis. This concludes the demonstration of how toolpath analysis allows you to graphically analyze a variety of multi-axis toolpath parameters. Thank you.